So I found this old uh, microscope here. <clears throat> Must have got it when I was about 10 years old. Um, but I thought I'd modify it and see whether or not I could get a better look at the surfaces of these parts. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see through here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Kind of. Excuse the shaky hands. Oh, let me have another go at this. There we go. So it's really hard to catch it on, uh, on the video. Um, but essentially what I've got here is a piston from one of my earlier videos. And on the left hand side there, it's been run through a sand blaster. And on the right hand side, the vapor blaster. So I'm just trying to hold it up to the light there. Try and get a, a good comparison of the two there. I started flickering again. I've got my light settings set wrong. Here we go. Natural light, it's a bit better to see there. So you can see how dull the gray is on the left hand side versus how shiny it is on the right hand side. Now, this is the difference between uh, sand blasting and vapor blasting. But I got the old microscope out there because I wanted to, to compare them. Um, a bit closer. Now it's not the greatest, it's very difficult to see at a 300 times setting, so I've gone back to the 200 um, and I'll just overlay on top of the video while it's sitting here, I'll overlay and so you can see, I'll, first of all I'll show you the sandblasted side so if you take a look uh, at the image here in the overlay uh, it kind of looks like a mountainous region, like if you're looking at a, a black and white um, topographical map um, there are lots of deep valleys and a lot of dark areas there so you can see actually how deep it all goes uh, into many of those regions and that's just because it actually cuts into the surface of the metal um, whereas the vapor blast is just a little bit softer I'll just switch that to the other image now the vapor blast as you can see there looks like if you imagine again a black and white topographical map it's um, it looks a lot more like a, a hilly region so Lots of rolling hills and, and valleys, um, so just a whole lot smoother now. I mean, this isn't the greatest microscope, and I will at some stage try and get a better one. Um, but the other thing I did notice, and I can't manage to get to pick up on the camera, is that on the sandblasting side, you may be able to see it there, just with the right light. It looks like there's... Uh, specks of sand stuck in it now i've given this a break clean so it should have got a lot of it out whereas it doesn't exist the same there's a little bit of crap i've got on the top of it there yeah much better you can see that it's a lot smoother surface and, the, and there doesn't seem to be that glass embedded whereas this side you can see those shining sand particles that have embedded themselves into the surface there so when it's set to 300 times on the microscope you can actually see them glistening um, and quite sharp and jagged. And the other thing I'll just try put down here and I'll show you how good the light is. My hands are a bit grubby, but let me just set up and move this out of the way. If I rub my thumb over this, it's still relatively clean. If I do it on the sand side, sand blasted side. See it's left that grubby thumbprint, it looks dirty there, so it actually gets dirty very quickly. Take a look again, you can see all the grubby, I suppose it's actually come off my hands so it hasn't really stained, but if I wipe down, you can see a lot of that's wiped off the side that's been vapor blasted, but all that stuff is still on the right hand side, on, on the left hand side, sorry, where it's been sandblasted. So all those crevices that you can see open in the, in the microscope overlay, um, they'll actually, because they're quite jagged, they'll grip onto to dirt and grease, and it gives it somewhere to adhere. And it also, those uh, all that extra surface area and those sharp edges uh, give a place to the crystalline structures of, um, of oxides to form on top of that surface a lot easier. So... Um, when you're sandblasting, I mean, it does come up looking okay, but uh, the practicality of the surface, it just does not even come close to that of vapor blasting. So I just thought I'd put that demonstration up just to show this is something I've wanted to do for a while. And like I say, I came across the 
crappy old microscope, so I thought I'd give it a go. Not the greatest, I'll probably try and get a hold of something a bit better later, but it gives you a good idea of uh, the differences, uh, as you can see with this cheap version of a microscope. So yeah. Once again, here's the difference.